Okay, oh, guys, what is up, guys? Welcome back into the channel, guys. Um, today, we're going to be talking about another uh, truck series team. We're going to be talking about a former uh, NASCAR Craftsman series truck series team. That being a team of all out motorsports um, owned by Corbin Forrester. Um, so, this team was running, started running in 2018. They reportedly shut down in 2019, came back in 2020, and then actually closed their doors in 2020. And nobody's seen anything of Corbin or All Out Motorsports since. Um, so let's go back to the beginning and um, yeah, we're going to start at the beginning of this. So on January 31st of 2018... Um, it was announced that Corbin Forrester would form his own team, and he would also drive for himself, uh, forming All Out Motorsports. Um, he would uh, have a 10-race schedule, including Daytona, Dover, Charlotte, Iowa, Chicagoland, Eldora, Michigan, Bristol, Talladega, and Phoenix. Um, and then later on in the season... He would also end up running at Atlanta and Texas as well. Um, so he would run, end up running a 12 race schedule, DNQing for I believe two races that year, so making about 10 races, which was his original 10 race schedule of what he wanted. Um, and then on 2019, he would run part time both 2018 and 2019. And then on June 18th of 2019, uh, former crew chief Wally Rogers stated that the team had closed and uh, stated the team had closed and that he was looking now looking for a job. Um, Forrester then said the day after that that the team was still functioning, that they were just regrouping and reorganizing, quote unquote. Um, so they would then not attempt any races until later that fall, where they would attempt the Talladega race in October with Danny Gill as the replacement crew chief, and they would end up finishing 13th. Um, so it kind of had a hiatus for a couple of months. They wouldn't run anything, supposedly regrouping and reorganizing, or whatever you want to call it, that they did. Um... So, he would then, they would then return in 2020, they would run the first couple of races, um, at the beginning of 2020, they would run the first couple of races, um, but f at first, it was said that they would run full-time with support from TRD at Daytona, and sponsorship from 50 Egg Music and the Mining Company Project, but their last race would end up coming at Pocono. Um, and that would be when the team would actually shut down. It would be after the 2020 Pocono race. Um, so they were said to be running full-time. Um, Corbin said on his Instagram page that they had seven chassis built. They had seven trucks. They were ready to run full-time. But then after Pocono, we would not see Corbin or All Out Motorsports at the track again forever. They would be gone. Um... So, this would be when the team would actually come to a close. Um, basically, the main reason why I got closed is because Corbin basically um, got into a huge argument on Twitter um, with about... So, basically, it all stemmed from Noah Grixon's dad uh, getting in a DUI and uh, getting in a wreck. Ended up being a DUI and wrecking... Or killing a person and injuring another um, but and then he ended up getting an argument with uh, somebody he already previously had beef on on Twitter and it kind of all went downhill from there um, but that is going to be a topic for another day uh, for another video, and that video will probably come out within the next day or two, um, but that's going to be all, all I'm on for. They had a pretty short career in the truck series overall, only running for two years, um, 
you know, they wouldn't run very often, they would be running part-time, and then supposedly running full-time before not running full-time, but, um, like I said, uh, keep an eye out for the Corbin, for the actual Corbin Forrester video about how he basically destructed his career and how he's no longer in NASCAR, um, but make sure you subscribe, turn on that bell, so you get notified when that video comes out, which should be either tomorrow or, oh, it might be Wednesday, actually, um, probably Wednesday, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, guys, and, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you guys later.